guys it is a recommission and today we are in the kitchen cooking it up today I will be making some ziti pasta and you guys will see how I make my some people call it baked ziti whatever tomato tomato I call it baked ziti and you guys will see how I do that um, and I have here from Publix I have the ground chuck and pork I wanted to do the mix with the meats with the ground beef and the pork so that gives it like a lasagna Italian kind of style kind of flavor all right and I have my Mueller ziti uh, Publix had their uh, have their own ziti but I like the Mueller ziti just I don't know just different to me all right and I have my Newman's own tomato and basil got one jar of that because my big ziti pasta I don't like it like wet like spaghetti I don't I don't like it like that so I use just one jar of spaghetti y'all let's see how it come out all right, and we got our mozzarella cheese back here, and our Kraft malchetta cheese, and I'm going to be making it not with garlic bread, not with none of that. Oh, I'm making it with the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix, making my baked ziti and cornbread. It's so good. It's so good. It tastes so good with cornbread. But anyway, and I got my pan here that I'm going to bake my baked ziti in. So yeah, y'all, that's it, that's all. Simple ingredients, not an expensive meal at all. So, y'all know what I say, let go. Okay guys, I figured I'd bring y'all in right now. As you guys can see, I've got my pork and beef all nice and brown and grilled. Our pasta, our ziti pasta is in the background cooking it up. Almost finished actually. I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm gonna move this over because our beef and pork is done. I'm gonna add my bigger pot and put my beef in there. Go ahead and add my beef to this bigger pot. Right, I'm gonna cut my heat down to a medium heat. And like I said, we've already browned our beef, so that's already done. Okay. All right, I just moved my beef to this pot because I'm gonna add my sauce to it. You guys will see. I'm getting ready to go ahead and add the sauce. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my sauce to the beef. I've got my heat turned down uh, to a medium heat. Let's go ahead and add our sauce to our beef. Y'all know I'm gonna add a little bit of water so I can get all my stuff that I paid for. Yes, all my stuff. Right, get that in there. Wash my hands up. Okay. All right, we got our sauce on our beef. One jar is all I use. Like I said, I don't want my um, ziti pasta. I don't want it all saucy and wet. You know, kind of like a, a lasagna. That's kind of how mine usually comes out. Like a little lasagna, you know? Alright, looking good. Let me taste that. Mm, that tastes so good. I'm so greedy, I know. Mm, that tastes so good. I like tasting my food as I cook. Let me see y'all. Zoom out in a little bit more. Mmm. A bit more. Y'all know I'm trying to be funny. Mm, it looks so good. So good. Alright, so we got that done. I got on a medium heat. Let me bring y'all out. Let me go check on the pasta back there. That pasta is... That pasta is cooking it up back there. 
I got like almost three minutes left on my timer for the ziti. Zita pasta, um, Zita. Zita, Ziti pasta is a little thicker, so it takes a little longer to cook, about 10, 10, 15 minutes. Like my stove off. All right, check out this pasta, let's see if it's done. Been cooking for about 10 minutes, so let me check my pasta. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and check this pasta. Let's see what's going on with your ziti. It feels like it's done. Uh oh, dropping the pasta. All right, I'm gonna cut my timer off. Our pasta is done. Y'all stay right there because I'm getting ready to drain this pasta, and I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna add it to the sauce and the beef. I don't want to make this a long video. Ooh, that's hot, hot, hot. I don't want to make this a long video. Um, so I'll be back to show y'all how I add the pasta and everything, and then we'll be building our um, baked ziti. All right, I'm back. My pasta's finished. I'm getting ready to go ahead and dump my pasta into my sauce. My sauce and my beef. All our pasta is in there. Let's get this all nicely mixed up. Just gonna use my fork and get it all blended together. And you know what? This is a nice, quick, easy way of um, fixing the pasta. I mean, as you cook, you learn like little shortcuts. So this way, I make my baked ziti this way and then I just pan and cheese it up. It's already mixed and my heat is at a low heat. So I mean you could just you can just eat it like this. You know? You don't have to make it a casserole. Just eat it like this straight out the pot. Just like it's just like spaghetti, you know? I'm going to blend everything together and then we're going to move over to the table and um Build our baked ziti and put it in the oven. I like to slowly get everything all mixed together. Especially that beef. Let me switch from this fork. I'm going to get a bigger spoon. Hold on, you all. Y'all in front of the uh, drawer. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm gonna zoom y'all in so y'all can be nosy and in the business. Yeah, that's, this is mixing better. I needed to get a spoon. That fork wasn't doing it. I need that beef to get all mixed in with the uh, pasta. You want it nicely blended. Okay, y'all. So, let's go over here to the table. Y'all see how it looks? Mm-mm-mm. See, you can just eat that like that. Just eat it just like that. Whew. All right. That look good, y'all. Let's go over to the table. Y'all hold on. Let's go over to the table. I got my cheese already ready already. Zoom y'all out so we can go ahead and build this ziti. Okay, y'all. Stay right there. Get this stove off. And all I'm doing is I'm just going to come over and dump my ziti. Let me get my a little handy dandy thing there. Okay. I'm just going to dump it in. Let me make sure I got it mixed real good. All right. We just going to dump it in our pan. 
I'm just going to dump half of it. Just gonna dump that first layer. And it's funny because I'm gonna layer it like it's a lasagna, you know? I just didn't put any sauce at the bottom, which is fine. That ain't gonna hurt nothing. Okay, so I got my first layer. Y'all saw how I did that. Just dumped it right on in that first layer. All right, we're gonna put some cheddar cheese. Just a little nice layer of cheddar cheese in there. And we're gonna do some mozzarella cheese in there. Oh yeah, we doing it up. See, it's kind of like um, I kind of fix it like it's a, a lasagna. That's how I like to fix it, like it's a lasagna. Oh, y'all see that? Y'all see it? All right, so let's get that other layer in there. And you know, like I said, this is something quick. Quick and easy you can do for the family. Through the week, on the weekends, it's quick and easy. Okay, we got everything in there. Put this pot in the sink. We just gonna spread that around. Just like that. Make sure we got beef and pasta all nicely mixed up. Make sure it's all nice and even so it can be all pretty. You know, and if you got like chunks of pasta, like see over here, I got like a little chunk of pasta. I kind of like mix it up, move it around a little bit. So it ain't a big clunk of pasta and a big chunk of meat, you know. Spread, just spread your uh, pasta out real nice and cute. Okay, ooh. Ooh, y'all know that look good. Ouch, tripped over the tripod. Anyway, oh, y'all know that look good. Yes, I know. I heard you. Yes, I'm zooming you in. I heard you. I heard you say, please zoom me in to see that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to put this final layer of cheese on it. Got to make it cheesy, y'all. It's got to be cheesy. Ain't going to be good without all the cheese now. And I'm just going to put the rest of my cheese up here. Save a little bit of that cheddar for the top. You'll see what I mean. It got mozzarella going. Make sure you get it everywhere, all on your sides and your corners. Everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that look good. Oh, that look real good. Make sure everybody getting some cheese. I need everybody getting cheese. Okay. All right, that's our mozzarella. And then let's do the rest of this mild cheddar cheese. You know. Oh, yeah. Y'all know this cheese going to melt right on down. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Oh, that look real good. That look real good, y'all. Ooh, y'all see it. Y'all see the baby Z. Y'all see it. All right, let me go ahead and get this ziti in the oven. Uh, I gotta get my cornbread mixed. I gotta get the cornbread cooked, y'all. Woo, child. I'm gonna have to cut this video a little bit. All right, y'all, let's go. All right, let's go ahead and whip this cornbread up. And if y'all seen my Publix grocery haul when I got this Jiffy mix, y'all heard in my voice how surprised I was when I picked up the Jiffy cornbread mix. But as y'all can see across the top, vegetarian. Anyway, we are not vegetarians. Shouts out to all those vegetarians out there. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, so we're going to make it work. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and dump my cornbread mix in there. Let's see. If you know anything about Jeffy, it's quick and easy. One pack of the uh, corn muffin mix, one egg, one third cup of milk. I'm doing two boxes, so I'm doubling all my ingredients. Easy. And I dump my first box in. Make sure I get all my stuff. Let me make sure y'all can see. Yep. Yep. Got all my stuff. Y'all know me. Pick that other box again. Alright. So we're going to move these boxes out the way. Alright. Okay. And let's get. I'm going to go ahead. Let's do my milk. Some eggs rolling back there. 
All right, so we're gonna do one third cup, my little. Y'all here that know that's my little measuring cups, chai. All right, so one third cup of milk. So let me go ahead. Uh, where is my one third cup, Lord? Somewhere around here, child. I just had the thing. Anyway, one third cup. Okay. I don't see it no more. Oh, <laughs> there it is. One third cup. No, that ain't one third cup. It's two third cup. Lord Jesus. All right, ain't got time for this. One more one third cup. We ain't got time for that. Let me get my measuring cup now. And I will not be editing this part out. It's all part of cooking. That's how I be sometimes. It be crazy. All right, one third cup. Okay, let me see. So I'm gonna do one third cup of milk. All right, so we got the first one third cup of milk. Go ahead and do my second third cup of milk. All right, child. We ain't got time to play. Put my milk back in my refrigerator. Alright, let's get these eggs cracked in here. Right now. I'm trying to drop no shells in my mix now. Come on now. Alright, so we got two eggs. Let's move that out the way. Go ahead and get this cornbread mix all whipped up real quick. Get that all mixed up, and I got my nice little big bowl so everything can get mixed up real good, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this all mixed up, y'all. Y'all see the cornbread mix? I'm gonna mix it on up. My vegetarian cornbread, Lord Jesus, child, please. Vegetarian cornbread, the devil. Ooh, child. I grew up on Jiffy Mix. Y'all done. Need a vegetarian? Ooh, I cannot imagine. Sure, I gotta call my mama and tell her about this vegetarian corn muffin mix. Jiffy got vegetarian. Child, my mama gone. Ooh, and she a God fearing woman. I don't know what she gonna do when I tell her they done made Jiffy mix vegetarian. I don't know. Alright, I just wanted to come sh show y'all I'll be whipping up the cornbread mix real quick. I think I'm going to go ahead and make cornbread. I'm making little muffins. I'm not going to do cornbread. I'm going to do little muffins. That'll go real cute with the ziti. Y'all know I got to show y'all the ziti child. How about the ziti already done, y'all? Oh, look at it. Already ready, already. Look at it. I'm telling you, 20 minutes. I put it in the oven for 20 minutes. It was done. 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Y'all know. Yep, I heard you. I'm taking you in. Ooh. Oh, look at that noodle. Hey, noodle. Hey. Look at it, y'all. Ooh, the sea of forgiveness. Look at that. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. Just a sea of cheese. Well, all right, y'all. Let me get these uh, corn muffins fixed up. I'll be back. All right, guys. It's the grand finale. I just took our vegetarian. <laughs> I can't even say it without laughing. Just took out our vegetarian cornbread muffins. They look delicious, they smell good. They, they smell like the regular cornbread muffins. Now, that much I gotta say, so. Yes, they look good. Let me take y'all back in. Ooh, y'all know I gotta take y'all in. Mm, 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 mm. Yep, that's the vegetarian cornbread muffins. And let's move back over here. I already let y'all take a little sneak peek at this baked ziti, so. Going on, on in, let me let y'all get another look. Give y'all a nice panoramic view of the big ZD. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Looks so good. All right. Well, quick and easy, y'all. Quick and easy. Take the muffins about 15 minutes. They were quick and easy to y'all. Ooh, zoom out. All right. Nice little quick, easy meal. Good. Got me. Quick and easy, y'all. Y'all know how I do it. Make it nice and easy for y'all. Because we ain't got all day. All right. Y'all know what I always say. Y'all seen me do it. So y'all know I did this. Y'all seen me do it. Y'all seen me do it. So 
ain't going to play with y'all. Y'all seen me do it. Y'all saw me bait this. Y'all saw me make this. Y'all saw. So, see me do it. <sighs> this is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.